r slash ask reddit x vegans why did you start eating meat again i still eat mostly vegetarian food and have done all my life however my husband was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis and celiac which means that a high fiber lower iron diet is not an option and a lot of the substitutes are gluten free more often than not when he has meat i'll leave it or have the veggie equivalent but there are just not enough hours in the day to make two separate lasagnas and sauce etc i have a friend who turned vegan because of ulcerative colitis weird how it affects different people differently got a genetic illness which makes me permanently anemic my body only absorbs a tiny amount of iron from food and that amount is burned pretty fast turns out it doesn't help to cut that tiny amount as well also i didn't replace the meat i just left it out so i basically ate less food edit the genetic mutation i have is called thalassemia specific type thalassemia beta intermedia it's pretty common especially in mediterranean people usually only severe cases are proper lee diagnosed since you can't really do more than iron infusions blood transfusions etc edit since some of you don't get it iron supplements don't work i get a lot of iron infusions i need me to get a lot of iron in me so i can absorb that minimal amount because my doctor wants me to absorb as much as i can from food I avoid processed meat it's usually just a rare beef steak for me. Edit. Since some people wonder why I have thalassemia and am iron deficient. I have no idea about the details I just know I have thalassemia. 99% sure. And doc says I need iron infusions. I'm still as veggie as possible but I moved to a country where it is 10,000% harder to be vegan. Japan. This is mostly due to not knowing a ton of Japanese and the fact that there is fish or meat in so many restaurant foods and the culture here isn't like in America where you can ask for items to be removed or substitutions. Not that my Japanese ability would allow me to do that anyway. I was using veganism as a guise for an eating disorder for well over a year. When I finally realized I was in trouble, after losing 80 pounds, I went and bought lamb chops and devoured them. Also therapy. Same here. Restrictive prep heavy diets and disordered eating are a perfect storm. I was on a diet for health reasons. When I was told I was allowed to eat meat again my fridge started looking like a Mexican fever dream. My aunt was a vegetarian for health reasons. The day she got diagnosed with cancer she went to in and out. I became vegetarian specifically to fuel an active eating disorder. When I got on the path to recovery, I started eating meat again. I was vegan for a year when I lived in a big city that had lots of inexpensive options for what one could eat. When I moved to a small town in beef country, the cost of good produce quadrupled, as did the cost of meat substitutes. I quickly learned that if I didn't eat whatever I could get my hands on, I would starve. So I started eating meat again. Some people say food deserts aren't real. They are. Edit. Holy cow steaks. This post got a lot of attention. I'm pretty sure this is the first post I've ever gotten an award on too. To the people who read this and flat out deny that food deserts and the like don't exist and feel like they need to attack people who claim that they're living in one. Please get well soon. Educate yourselves and live outside your bubble. I'm going to once again talk about my personal issue with eating vegan. There is a Walmart in my town that I can reach within 15 minutes as I thankfully have a car. That produce is somewhat affordable, but we don't get a lot of it and by the time it gets put on display it is either rotted or damaged by frost, which makes them not worth the investment. We have two other grocery stores, which tend to have fair to amazing produce but prices are well outside of my price range. Produce recalls also hit this area pretty hard because what you could once get for under $2, you can get for $4 at other stores not affected by the recall, like bags of shredded lettuce and salads. Meanwhile, most of my town are hunters, including my partner. It is far less expensive to get a couple deer to feed you for the year than it is to buy meat from the grocery store, and much less expensive than trying to live on vegetables rice and beans in the long run other people also buy whole cows to slaughter which wins up being cheaper in the long run and you're getting local beef i vastly prefer wild game over beef for ethical reasons but i also prefer the taste i regularly practice knife throwing in my backyard maybe not the hobby you imagine for a vegan but there we are 
where my somewhat dilapidated garden shed is located. I've painted a target in white paint on the planks of the door and try to harness my skills by steadily increasing the distance. Alright, with that out of the way. Two years ago I was going about this usual business and missed, as I'm wont to do, every now and then. Instead of colliding with the door, the blur of the knife shot by the edge of the door and buried itself in the soil. Except it didn't. There was a horrible noise, which I cannot liken to anything else really, but it obviously emanated from a living thing in absolute agony. I ran behind the shed and saw a spasming grey heap racing around on the lawn. It was a mature opossum, circling mindlessly, obviously so brain damaged as to have lost all sense of direction. The blade of the knife was embedded horizontally in its skull. I looked at it for half minute, trying to imprint its poor face in my memory, then stomped on its head, as hard as my legs would stomp, to bring an end to its tortured state. Though it is admittedly disgusting, I felt a sacred obligation to not let its body go to waste. I spent the rest of the afternoon skinning and disemboweling the wretched creature, and then made a sort of goulash out of its remaining flesh. As shocking of an ordeal as the whole thing was, it made for a decent dish and my son lauded my cooking that evening, which he usually never does. I wanted to see if it made me sick. I've since eaten it here and there but it's not often. I was vegan, food and otherwise, for near a decade. I'm planning on going back because I can honestly say that I've not been missing out. It's possible to veganize about anything these days. Oh, also, no it didn't make me sick at all. I was vegan for 3 years and had gone home to my community which is tremendously poor. To have cold cuts and a bag of Doritos is a luxury. My aunt who was going blind made a family feast and everyone came, and she made a very traditional lamb stew. My heart broke when I thought of how much of her income she must have spent to make this possible and felt like a completely entitled outsider when I told them I was vegan. They couldn't comprehend when food is so hard to come by, why anyone would choose to not eat any protein available to keep from being hungry. Being vegan comes from a first world position of entitlement. It is a luxury to choose what you eat, when so many eat whatever is available, not out of an ethical decision, but out of necessity. I became homeless and couldn't afford to be picky about my food. My life is stable now finance wise and I now eat a balanced diet with meat try to eat a lot of veggies, and I sometimes eat fast food and candy, which I didn't do when I was vegan. Reason I became vegan was I thought meat is gross, and I still think it is so I still don't eat it too excessively. I lost a lot of weight, to the point that people asked if I was okay. I was tired and had low energy. I ended up being anemic. I slowly ended up getting to a point that I started eating meat again. Hair loss and health issues got worse. I'm fine now. I was vegan for a year due to wanting to eat clean and it backfired. Fairly stupid reason. Because I broke up with my ex. I became a vegan to support her, and it felt weird eating meat while she was so against it when the relation was over however, I no longer felt the need to support my ex in that way. Thus meat was back on the menu boys. Edit. Holy shit. THNXS for all the upvotes. A friend had to abandon it when they finally got treatment for their eating disorder. They were already malnourished, and 15 years ago in the Midwest there weren't a lot of good vegan options around. Their therapist also kind of insisted, because it was somewhat being used as an excuse to not eat or not eat anything substantial. Over time they just transitioned back into eating a normal, non-vegan non-vegetarian diet. Now it's kind of a minbuck that they can go just about any fast food restaurant and get beyond or impossible. Various nut and soy milk is sold everywhere groceries are available, including some well stocked gas stations, and no one looks at you funny if you ask about the ingredients in a dish. Not vegan but vegetarian. I was vegetarian for a good 4 years, once I hit the 4 year mark, energy was at an all time low, my whole body felt weak. And the kicker I had very, very frequent nosebleeds. It was so often I was used to it for a while. Eventually the nosebleeds came to be too much. And I started eating meat again. Then the nosebleeds stopped altogether. I haven't had a single nosebleed thus far. Mind you I quit being vegetarian 2 years ago. Was vegetarian for 12 years. Had a mental breakdown after a death in the family and instead of drinking or getting high. I went out and got a steak taco. Life is too short to miss out on tacos. I'm a vegan. 
But I'm on my annual cheat year. I divorced my vegan wife. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.